Hey designers, let's create this animation in After Effects. Take a document. I've taken a 1500 by 1000 document. Let's open grid. Take the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle here. Duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. Place it on top like this. Duplicate it. Move it on top. We'll duplicate it three more times and stack it on top. And once more. Good. Close the grid now. To make their anchor point come in the center. Select the layer. Click on the anchor point tool by pressing Ctrl key on your keyboard. Do the same with all the shapes. Select all and adjust their position in the document. Now give them a grayish color. Head over to the ellipse tool. Draw a circle. Give it a white fill. By pressing Ctrl key click on the anchor point tool to place its anchor in the center. Place the ball in the bottom. Let's make this layer color red. Press P for position. Add a key frame to the position. Move 10 frames forward by pressing Ctrl Shift and right arrow key on your keyboard. Again move 10 frames forward. Move the ball to the top. Move 10 frames forward. Make it to touch this shape. Let's decrease the size of the ball. Press S for scale. Scale it down a bit. Again P for position. Adjust the position. Move 20 frames forward. Move the ball upwards. Ten frames forward. Make it bounce on this shape. 20 frames forward. Move upwards. Ten frames forward. Move it down. Twenty frames forward. Move the ball upwards. Ten frames forward. Again make it touch the shape. Do the same thrice more. Let's play the animation.
Good. Now that the ball is on the top stair. Move 10 frames forward and make it go all the way up. Take the Convert Vertex tool. Click on the anchor points to make them cornered. Make the top cornered too. We'll adjust them later. With the help of Selection tool, make them straight. Again take the anchor point tool and make the top points rounded. Let's see. Select these keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor. Select this point. Leave this and select this point. Select the alternate points. Double click. Check on continuous. OK. Adjust it like this. Go back. In effects and preset search. Echo. Drop it on the ball layer. Echo minus 0 0.001. Number 20. Operator maximum. Good. Now place the play head on the frame where it touches the first shape. Now select all the shapes. Search color here. Click on this fill clock. Move one frame forward. Make it white.
Copy and paste white color code. First block is done already. Move the play head to the frames where the ball touches the second brick. Move the color key frames to that point. Now when it touches the third brick. Move the fill key frames. Do the same with all the bricks as well. And now the last one. Let's see. Now we want the text to appear that the brick lights up. So take the text tool, write text here. Adjust the font. Make it uppercase. Decrease the font size. Now duplicate this text layer. Move it on the second brick. Change the text. Again duplicate it. Move it. Replace the text. Do the same with the other three bricks. Good. Oh, we should change the text color to black. Select all. Change the color to black. Now offset the text layers. 
The text will appear after the bricks lights up. And finally the last one. I think I should make this gray color of the bricks a bit more dark. So I am gonna quickly do it. And yes it's done. Before you go, don't forget to show some love. Like this video if you found it helpful. Drop a comment below with any questions or suggestions. And make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on more design tips and tutorials. Thanks for tuning in to Ace Designs.